Next, more details have been announced about Stapleford's £21.1 million Towns Fund. It's to improve what facilities are available in Stapleford Town. There will be a brand new £6.4 million community building and young people centre. There's also going to be a cycle lane similar to that seen at the Victoria Embankment. And here to tell us more is independent councillor Richard McRae. Richard, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Looking wonderful as always. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for having me on. You are welcome. So tell us a little bit more about the fund. Yeah, I mean, it's 21.1 million, which was announced quite a while ago. And I think we need to thank um, the officers at the council for doing all the work in the background because, you know, that's what's made it happen. So there's six projects. There's a community hub, as, as you've already said, at a um, young people centre, which I call a youth club. And I'd also like to thank the um, Stateford Town Football Club because they're actually trying to get another over one point million, over one million pound off the FA to, to have a football academy on there. So I think that's pretty good. There's an enterprise hub building, which is going on the Victoria Street car park. So a building has been knocked down in Stateford to create a new car park. There's um, library learning facilities. So the library is going to be have some upgrades so it can create a small education centre for entry level skill training, which is again amazing. The cycle track, as you've just said, well, sorry, cycle route, and there's also a cycle hub, and then the um, track that's like the one down near the River Trent, that's going on the Oxford Road Recreation Ground. There's improvements to the high street, which is, you know, alterations to the roads and hopefully the speed humps. Um, that's ongoing at the minute, so we're all excited to see the details for that, and then there'll be a bit of a public consultation on that one, because we want the community to get involved in this. And then lastly, there was one million pound um, recovery grant scheme, and that's been used to help businesses get on back on track after the pandemic. So, yeah, it's being used quite wisely and, you know, not everybody supports everything, but I think there's some really good stuff in there. Um, the mock up pictures probably aren't the best we've used, but there's some new ones coming out. And like I say, it's a learning thing to all of us. I, I think people will appreciate it all when we get there. And it's one of them things. You can't please everybody, but we've been given £21 million. Pound. It's amazing. It's unbelievably amazing. And, um, you know, the stuff that we're talking about, uh, that you've just been talking about, that's going to happen in Stapleford sounds amazing. Um, I'm sure there's lots of other places that would also like that kind of funding. How did Stapleford manage to secure it? Yeah, well, it was the government announced many places before the, um, I think it was before the elections a while ago. And like I say, there was £25 million you could apply for. A lot of people have put a lot of work in. Um, it's, it's been cross-party, it's been officers, it's been councillors, it's been people in the community. It's a proper community thing. There was a public consultation. You know, lots of people did apply. It would have been nice if more had it done. But we've got some cracking stuff. And like you say, it's split down between the six projects. It's going to benefit future generations for ages to come. I'm really excited about the uh, community centre and the youth club moving on to the park. Other people are really excited about other bits. And I really do think we've got some of the right people you know, dealing with each project that are better at what they're doing. Um, and, and that's how we're going to make it work, aren't we? And what do you think this will mean to the people of Stapleford? What, what, how much of a difference in people's lives will, will this funding make? I think people aren't seeing it at the minute because there's no spades in the ground. You know, we've actually started knocking one building down to build a car park. And I know I've seen negative posts about that on the internet, but I think it's one of these, you know, let, let us get it done and then let, let's prove to people it works. And I hope we do. Um, it, it's going to make a difference to the high street. We've, we've just lost Nottingham Building Society. So, the, you know, we've had some shops go, but we've had some come as well. So let, let's get this all done. You know, £21 million, pound, it, it's nothing to be sniffed at, is it? And then if people can, you know, back what we're doing, a bit more positivity on the internet. Like you, you need your criticism, but I'd prefer to see constructive criticism than people just blatantly having a go for the sake of it. Because it is a big project, you know, I'm not saying we've got everything right, but I 100% know that everyone involved in it is giving it the best and doing the best we can. That's all we can do, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, it just sounds brilliant. Um, I'm hopeful to see some of those plans uh, starting very soon, but it is always a pleasure to talk to you, Richard. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right.